Mr. Sacco's back! Mr. Sacco did it! <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Santa Toast. <laughs> We in the club like that. And we're back with more 60 seconds in the last episode. We did the challenge mode, which well, there's only two challenges right now that I, I can find, apparently. They also added some more uh, achievements you can get in the game. But we tried to beat the game with just Ted, and we failed. Because Ted went crazy and ran away. So this time, this time we're going to play on normal. And we're going to go with just Ted and Dolores. We don't need the kids. We can make new ones. Where's my beautiful wife at? In the kitchen, good. Right in the kitchen, having that coffee, reading whatever you're reading. I don't know, get my pocket though. Get my pocket. I need some soup. Oh boy, get to the shelter. That's not the goddamn shelter. I keep going the wrong way at the beginning. I'm just dumb. Get in there, all right. Uh, get to that water right there. Get that map right there. Get this ax on the wall. Huzzah! Say what's up, Timmy. How you doing? We grab, uh, I need that gas mask off the wall. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Just grabbing the gas mask. Uh, briefcase. Sure, let's get a briefcase. Get some water. I uh, can't. I'm full. Get it. Oh my god. Am I st oh, guys. Like, I thought I was screwed. I need more stuff. I need water. I need, like, a flashlight, I guess. Uh, whatever that is. I need the Boy Scout handbook is what I really need. Where's the Boy Scout handbook yet? Oh, I'm not gonna get the Boy Scout handbook. Are you serious? I need the Boy Scout handbook. I gotta find it. Crap! There it is right there! No! 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 Oh, I made it. <laughs> Did I even get the radio? I may be screwed already. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. I didn't get- oh my god. Dolores, nope. We can't do it, Dolores. We got- we gotta get out of here. We can't- we can't survive with that. We just can't do it. Alright, let's try again. We gotta at least have the radio. The radio is like the most important item. So we need- we need the waifu. And we need the radio, for sure. Get in my pocket. All right, get in here and uh, let's grab this because it's close. To the shelter. Huzzah. Throw it in there. There's the radio. Get that radio. Yes, sir. Got the radio. Get some water. So why do I have a? Why do I have the gas mask hanging on the wall like a, like an animal head? Doesn't matter. Throw it in there. All right. Some more water. Uh, some more water and some more water. Some bug spray. Yes, sir. Lots of food on the ground here. Grab it all. Yep, 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 yep. Grab that food. Grab the food. Get in the kitchen. Grab some more food. Ugh. Oh, Boy Scout handbook. There it is. Uh, uh, don't want anything else in there. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I need more food. To the shelter. Do, 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 do. Throw it in there. All right. I didn't get the. Did I get the map? Okay. Well, I think we're good. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we did pretty good. Ted got the food, the water, the radio, the boobies. I think he's gonna be okay. Okay. We got the radio. We got the map. I have a briefcase down here. All right, just the two of us. There was enough time to get the kids, but surely this is the drill. <laughs> They're okay, right? It's just a drill. They're okay, right? The kids are okay, right? We can't remember bringing those supplies down the shelter, but we're not complaining. Someone must have hit this can here uh, in the suitcase. All right, the shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best sock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one. <laughs> well, good job. We did it, guys. I hope nobody gets hurt because I don't have, uh, I didn't get a med kit, but that's okay. They're, they're, they're already tired of each other. It's been one day and they're just looking like, oh my God, I'm just so sick of you. Living the past is not wise. Uh, Ted's been fine. Oh, uh, today's been fine for Dolores this far. Ted's not complaining. Well, that's great. You guys just hang on in there. Okay, we discussed everything. No one chat. Really disturbing. Okay, don't break the radio on the first day, please. Oh, thank God. Okay. But you kind of got to use this stuff. You have to use the items you get sometimes to not go crazy. Day three, nobody really needs anything. We're just going to say, what's that sound? A galloping horse? Well, these guys are usually pretty nice. So we'll let them look at our map. And I think we'll be okay. All right. What the guys? Oh, they gave us a lock. They seem friendly enough. They gave us a lock. And we'll not survive that more water. Well, you'll just have to, okay? You got to last five days. You got to. Uh, we've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. It never worked. We were promised a great cake, and it turned out it was a lie. <gasps> the cake was a lie, and that's a disappointment. We weren't glad. We're definitely getting cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. All right, next day. Nobody die from dehydration in five days, please. Everyone's okay. Good job, everybody. You did it. You made it to five days. Okay. We'll not survive without water any longer. Well, that's okay. Oh, wow. I got loads of food. So much food. I didn't even realize. You guys have been fed. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. You should chat with her to find out what's wrong. Sure. Have a heart-to-heart -heart with your wife, Ted. Figure out what's wrong. Other than, you know, the kids are exploded and dead. <laughs> that's, you know, that's not important. But what's important is your love. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some issues and doubts. She feels better now. Everything seems okay with Dolores. All right, day six, it's uh, looking pretty pretty good. Going pretty well. All right, day seven. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be far more optimistic. The army can't be far. We're hearing strange noises lately. 
We can't do anything about it. Well, we can't be occupied. We have to pay attention to the noises and hopefully we don't go crazy. Good, nobody went crazy. Whew, Ted, Ted don't have the evil sock puppet to talk to. That's gonna take him out into the, the wasteland. Border can really get to you in the shelter. He can talk, you can, it can lead you to dark places. Trust us. I always wonder who's actually writing this journal. It's like written by like us, like we're watching this happen. Ted needs to drink something soon. All right, you're not getting anything, Ted. After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us, we noticed it, and now we're about to get sick. So why not take a shower? Well, how about just, uh, Use the gas mask. Just, just use the gas mask. Don't worry about the dirty smells. It'll be fine, I promise. Day nine. Oh, it doesn't kill us. It makes you stronger. If we survive just a little bit longer. Ha, hey, Ron. Dirty ears shouldn't be much of a problem. Just be sure. Dibs with the gas mask. Lord should not survive without water. He's got one for the grave. He needs a drink. Well, I think you guys can make it one more day without a drink. Okay. Pfft, crap. Something stares from the corner of the shelter. Oh, man. Someone's gonna get bit. Someone's gonna get hurt. Day 10. Who's hurt? Did we just lose water? Did something take our water? Oh, I took a can. Oh, okay, that's okay, because we had, we, we only, we had plenty of cans. Oh, the a rodent, so it took our can of food. How did the devil fit through one of those little holes? There you guys go. Enjoy that. Phone call so soon. Mm, Dolores, go, go, go see what's, go see who's on the line out there. Go check it out. Day 11. Who's on the phone, Dolores? You love talking on the phone, right? Oh, when she asked the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced us for our survivors from Hill Valley, exchange information, and the call is cut short. Something must have gone wrong. They got our information, they hung up, they're gonna come rob us. Everyone's okay. We we're looking through our map, but we came across a few markings. We're not rich. Someone has added a pointer location near us. Uh, what we find there, do we know? Maybe it's worth sending someone to check out. Do I send out Dolores to check it out? All right, Dolores, go see what's out there. I believe in you. Day 12. What'd you find, girl? Oh my god, Dolores. You found a lot of stuff. Oh wait, did you? No, our big bottle of water's gone. Dolores, are you okay? Are you okay? We got, uh, we lost our map. Oh no. Oh, she came down with, the oh, this is bad news, Dolores. This is bad news, girl. Oh no, this is not good. But it says she needs food, so I guess because she went outside. Well, uh, I guess Dolores may just die and Ted may have to live on by himself. Sorry. We got some music going or something? We made contact, the military's out, military is out there. Dolores really love to eat. I just gave you something, Dolores. Shut up. Hungry all the time. I swear there's a puddle of water. All right, well, I gotta save my radio. Puddle of water. The, the bunker is flooding. Oh, God. Okay, it's her. I was like, Ted's sick too. I mean, why am I like, oh, it's just her. Uh, it sucks that she's sick because I, to get an achievement, I have to beat the game with both of them, I think. I mean, what if it was... What if it was Mr. Sako that made her sick? What if he is behind it all? All right, stay 15 though, so you guys get to drink and eat. Congratulations, nobody's going out to the wasteland. We have a, we have a situation on our hands. There's a, a group approaching our shelter. They don't seem like occasional friendly scavengers. All right, lock ourselves in. Our lock's gone. Uh, we did think a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems they gave a whole break in for a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. <laughs> Too bad the padlock is in no shape to be used again. Well, thank God the padlock saved us. Now I just need somebody to give me some medicine so Dolores can survive. Uh, from the last uh, injury, she has hurt her foot. Well, I can't do anything about it, Dolores. I can't do anything about your foot injury. Don't be dead. Oh, she's fine. She's okay. She's just a little sick. I didn't do anything about the affected wound. <laughs> After all, our ancestors could survive that, that with all that fancy medicine. Why should we have listened to doctors? Dolores is looking more sickly, though. She feels rested. Pretty sure the place in the middle of the whole map that was really... Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's try to fix our map. Since Dolores busted it. Did she bust it? She did bust the map, didn't she? God dang it, Dolores. We fixed the map! Yeah! Now he's gotta fix Dolores! Now he just needs some medicine! Hopefully we can find some soon. Great news. Ted needs water to survive. Maybe I should send her out into the wilderness, but maybe she won't return if I send her out. I don't know. I I'm not too sure. Uh, side of the map, wall, we checked nails holding it. They were, it, poultry guys, form exorcism. Anyway, the wall behind the map discovered some sort of safe. Should we open the safe? No, we shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway because maybe there's med kit in there that can save Dolores. Okay, so we got a can of food. Great. Everybody's looking okay. A bit of while. Don't know much is happening on the surface. Listen to the radio. Okay, listen to the radio. Dolores is looking like she's just about to pass straight out. She she is so very sick right now. I'm so sorry, Dolores. I wish I could fix you. Emergency announcement. Guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is almost is mostly gone. It took 20 days this time. She won't survive that water any longer. Well, she probably won't survive period any longer. Today we found a letter from that seems to be other survivors. They claim there's no harm. Uh, represent meeting the night. Okay, Dolores, go out there and meet and meet him. Day 21. She's back. What'd you get, Dolores? Nothing. It's true. It's all true. There really are others like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly-looking group of survivors. 
They're being held by twins. They're being led by twins, a brother and sister who seem to be friendly enough. They ask us questions, probably stay in touch. Uh, I think Dolores is about to die. She's gonna die like right here. She's gonna be a skeleton laying there. Whew, she's hanging in there. She's strong. Come on, Dolores. You're doing great. Catch a military broadcast. They're asking to go out with the flashlight, signal for a plane. Okay. Go out there and signal the flashlight thing, because we have one of those. Whew, come on, Dolores. Hang in there. Hang in there, girl. Ted just doesn't even care. He doesn't even care that she's dying before him. Everything was going to plan, but the flashlight stopped working. We are lucky to get it just fixed in time for, uh, to hear the distant roar of the planes. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Uh, my reaction to the landscape, we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo. She, uh, she wanted us some bullets, but we can't. We can't give you any bullets. I'm sorry. We don't have any to give you. 24, Dolores. She's got to have, like, two... Like one HP left. An R person who murders things for a for a living? Giant mutant spiders? Our neighbor? Hood? <laughs> nah. Day 25. Will she make it? Still in there. Still in there. Oh boy. Alright, we gotta give him some food though and water. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I don't have a gun! No! Come on! Oh, if only I had a gun, I could get oh, dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Could have saved you, but I don't need the briefcase. I guess I'll give him the briefcase and get a lock. I guess. Sorry, Dolores. Day 26. Ah, oh, Dolores, no! If only I had a gun! <laughs> no! Oh, not like this, Dolores, not like this! Oh, Ted, you don't even look bothered by the skeleton that's laying beside you! Dolores, sickness progressed quickly, coughing, fever, chest pains. She didn't recover. The girls were very kind and their prices were more than fair. We gladly accept their offer. However, very clever of them to keep their business alive after the apocalypse. We're impressed. Uh, and Ted it's okay. 2016 strikes again. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. We always thought we could be much better than, you yeah, know, whatever. Ted's alone, so now Ted's gonna go crazy, right? Mr. Socko! Mr. Socko's back! Mr. Socko did it! Mr. Socko, did you kill Dolores? Did you do it? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we made it for the day. Ted's gone crazy. Favorite radio stop broadcasting. Try the frequency static. All the other stations gone. Maybe we should tinker with it to increase the range. Sure, why not? Go ahead, Ted. Tinker with it. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Mr. Socko, he's tearing everything apart. He's killed the wife. He's destroyed the radio. Ted, don't listen to him. He's evil! Alright, you, uh, you got a good job. You broke the, you broke it. At night we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. We peeked out in the morning and saw a leather suitcase, his address name on it. Alright, whatever. Open the suitcase, Ted. Day 29. You're sick! Mr. Sacco! He put the- Ah, oh, he's- he, No! Mr. Sacco's killing us! Inside the suitcase we, we found some soup. It expired a long time ago. No! Mr. Sacco's killing us all off! No, oh, why are you doing it to us, buddy? Why do you guys thought we were friends? Uh, just, I'll keep hoping for something good to happen. Like, maybe we can get a med kit. But no, it just keeps going bad. Oh my god. Oh wait, damn it, I clicked through. It had something where I could have like, I could have done something with the map. Jesus Christ. They might be friendly, is it really worth it? We only have one map. Uh, whatever. Keep going. Uh, claustrophobia is difficult fighting, especially, maybe we should open the door. Sure, open the door and probably get attacked by, by something. <laughs> Bless you. Maybe you should just wear the gas mask all the time. Uh, Ted's fine this morning. Rash supplies. Trash can of ours is getting disgusting. We don't have much appetite. And it's food. All right. Get them cockroaches with the with the bug spray. Dodge the bullet. Ted needs water. He's not getting any. Not yet, anyway. Supplies are scarce and morale's low. Pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby. Mostly old folks. Yeah, sure. Go get go get the go rob the old folks. Mr. Sacco will talk to them. Hey, we got a new radio. Oh yeah. New radio. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. Go, go ahead and go ahead and treat yourself, Ted. One night, uh, soldier sent another radio message requesting all survivors of the area remain uh, patient and wait for further instructions. Sounds like the extraction isn't coming as soon as we hoped it would. Additionally, the officers from the broadcast request survivors who are able to bring gas canisters to the nearest bus stop do so as soon as possible. That might take a while. Okay, wear a gas mask. Gotcha. We can do that. Put that gas mask on. All set. Canisters in place. We're back home. Yeah. He hasn't recovered from his illness yet, and he won't until I get a med kit. We opened the bucket door this morning to let fresh radioactive air. We discovered a small suitcase at our doorstep. Uh, sure. Take a look inside. Why not? What's the worst that could happen other than us dying? Hey, we got water. All right. Uh, I don't have a gun. If I did, I could already got one. Traveling salesman. I only have the gas mask. I can get food. I don't need any of this. Get out of here. I got plenty. 
Ted and Mr. Sacco were just fine. All right, that salesman was very friendly, but he didn't have anything that was very interesting. Ted was really thirsty. Oh, all right, day 38, here we come. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking at our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yeah, it's exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insist they're a merry man wishing to give the rich take the poor. Screw you guys. You're not getting anything from me because I'm probably considered rich. All right, we didn't answer. Screw those guys. Every day, Ted's become more and more absent-minded. He used the map as toilet paper again. God dang it, Ted. We've been through this before. Please, for the love of God. All right, day 40. Can we make it to day 40? Come on, day 40. Yeah. Come on, day 40. What you got for us? Nothing. Day 40 is nothing. A, an empty day. Day 41. Uh, he's doing all right, I guess. Two in exchange. I, I, I need this. I need this to be flipped. I will give up water for some of this. He just wants a few drops of water. Might as well give it to him because we're not going to make it much longer anyway. Open the name of freedom. Came and shout the door. All right, we're open in the name of freedom. We're open in the name of freedom. The end. Oh, no. Ted died. No. Ted, no. I got an axe. They gave me an axe. Ted. Ted. Dolores. Damn it all. Uh, peek outside. Greeted by a group of high school students. They were equipped. Looked like yeah, they gave us an axe. Ted was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. We didn't make it. These are our final words. Our advice for anyone who reads this is obscured writing. Perished. Why is it so hard to get saved in this game? The sock. The sock suffocated him while he's asleep. The sock killed him. Mr. Socko did it. Mr. Socko was behind it all. Oh my God. Right, we're not going to give up. We're, go we're going to do it. We'll get back in there. Me and Dolores, uh, Ted and Dolores are going to make it. And this time we're going to get a med kit. Just so we have, uh, you know, just in case. Let's just grab what we have in here. Let's grab it all to the shelter. We've got a whole tub full of stuff here. Grab it all. Grab it all. Grab it all. Grab it all. Oh, grab it. Let's grab her. Let's grab the radio. Let's grab the book. There's also the med kit on the wall. Grab it. Grab the cards too. Why not? Oh, crap. Full. The med kit takes two now? When did that happen? Has it always been like that? All right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. Grab some food. Grab some food. Grab some water. Grab some food. Get back to the shelter. Grab that two way right it. Woo! <laughs> that was close. Ah, oh, that chessboard though. I got it. Oh, uh, did I get did I get enough food though? I don't know if I have enough food. I got the radio. Did I get the map? Did not get the map. Dang it. I think the map is good, but it's not that important. Okay, so we got we didn't get the gas mask either. That's okay. We don't have to go anywhere. All right, we got an extra can of soup. Yeah, we are in here. Uh, dancing cockroach. Smack it with the Boy Scout handbook. Just go ahead and get that cockroach out. Boy Scout handbook. Almost the most single important item in the game. The radio is important too. That's close. Next gloom made them worse. Roaches, yeah, whatever. We need water. Puh, puh. We don't need it. About to go to sleep, we heard a knock at the door. Do we dare open it up? Do we dare? I dare. Let's open it up. We're still, we're still a trusting, a trusting couple. Did they rob us? What happened? I don't see anything different. Oh, turned out nice mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some cans. All right. I think it's like a random event. Like it has a chance of being bad or good. Maybe it's 50-50. I don't know, but we lucked out that time. We got some extra cans of food. Eat up and drink up. You guys are doing great. There's nothing more annoying than silence we're getting from the radio. All right. Don't break the radio, please. <laughs> good. Woo. Radio's okay. We're doing great. We're doing great so far. Day seven. It just makes me feel so naked without the map on the wall up there. It's just, just empty space. All right, what we got going on today? Galloping horse. Ah, oh, it's the guys that always gives us stuff. Well, we don't have the map this time. Sorry, guys. Uh, laughter. Guys took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits. How rude. Huh. We can keep sticking our heads. Okay. Yeah, keep our ears open in the radio. Yeah, the military. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The government's not, not falling. Trump is still out there. He will save us. Trump is coming. He needs people to worship him, so he need, he's got to save us. Uncle Brian, okay. Yeah, sure, let's check our Boy Scout handbook for Uncle Brian, whatever. Just, whatever keeps Mr. Sacco away, the evil son of a gun. We did it, the photo we're looking for was stuck between the pages. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's a wonderful surprise. Great. Day 10, let's uh, feed and water our people. Uh, how does approach a man we didn't know he claimed to be an accountant? Uh, gambler, he offered a card game to bet two balls of water. Don't care. We have the cards, but we're not playing with our water like that. Get out of here. I told that guy to get lost. Get out of here, accountant. I don't trust you. Alert, there's a gang of firefighters outside, at least dressed like ones. They bang on the door, ordering us to surrender our supplies. They claim they'll drive us with fire if we don't comply. I guess the destiny of firefighters somewhat changed. All right, we get the axe. We'll get the axe after the firefighters. Damn, somebody got shot. 
Nope, we're okay. Nobody got hurt. We just lost our axe. Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Bet your ass they will be back. Vermin like that never gone for long. Oh yeah, but we lived. We made it. Everything we could. Let's use the radio. I hate to keep using the radio, but I don't want him to go crazy. Ted needs water to survive. It's only day 13. You'll be okay, Ted. Phone call so soon. Go check it, Dolores. The phone call is a pretty safe bet. You never really have to worry about that. You just go out there and get it. It's easy. Uh, gasp relief, but then that gets cut off, like always. Okay, and wait to the next day to give everybody water. Uh, bandit at camp outside. We can't do anything about it. Someone really should sort those bandits out, give them room for their money. 100% beside that idea, but we're not going to do it ourselves. Okay, nothing happened. Day 15, playing with matches, very good idea. Doing a tiny bit underground, so it's probably even lower. A few matches later, we end up flames licking the walls. Time is short. We need to put it out and save our supplies. God, why? Every time I have a good setup, a flood, or we burn everything down. God dang it. All right, well, I'll lose my med kit and my radio. Dang it. Crap. You guys are idiots. Tiny scratch. Well, I can't fix it because I broke everything. Now she's sick. Now she's sick. Now she's sick. Oh, my God. I hate this game so much. Raider camp. I know the raider camp is all over, so we can't do anything about it because we don't have any guns or anything. Can't do anything about the raiders. Can't do anything about her sickness. Because we wanted to play with matches like a bunch of freaking idiots. Well, uh, yeah, I wonder what, what they're doing out there with the radio, but I can't because we burned it down. Uh, we just sit here and wait silently, divvy off the supplies, and wait for my wife to die because I can't, you know, the raider camp. They're just gonna, they're gonna break in eventually and they're gonna take us over. During the night, we heard suspicious sounds coming around the door. We peeked out the morning and saw a leather suitcase. Sure, look in the suitcase because why not? We've already lost all of our good stuff anyway. Day 22. Uh, Gives booby trap. And uh, Dolores was hurt. Ted was hurt. Great. A landscape woman dress. Pay us back in a while. Yeah, sure, whatever. Take the bullets. I don't need them. We're all hurt. We're all going to die. Mr. Sacco's slowly killing us. A young man pays a visit. Tell us brave twin sister missing. Okay, yeah, sure. Go go get him, Dolores. Young man, this is a group of other survivors. Really friendly. Found the girl. Threw her a weapon and fought off the bandits. Siblings are happy. Good job. Now we just slowly wait until we die and bleed out. Mr. Sacco is preparing his hand. He's already working his way back up. Yup, they got one foot in the grave. Here you go. Quiet knock at her door. Found a suitcase. Sure, open the suitcase. It's been bad every time. Let's, let's see what happens this time. Nothing good, it doesn't look like. Uh, we got a bottle of water. Great, a bottle of water. So the suitcase is not worth it ever, it seems. Bandit camp, yep, they're still causing a ruckus out there. That's why we're not going outside. <laughs> Because we'll get ca captured. Mm, day 28. Dolores is still alive somehow. Buckets in front of the shelter. He's drawn map. All right, Dolores, go check it out. Whatever. Just go check it out. Go check out the ruins. Day 29. <gasps> oh, baby! Oh, someone can get healed, but who should get healed? We got it back. We got it back. But if I give it to Dolores, does it cure her sickness and her injury, or does it only do one? Ted has had his chance, okay? We've given Ted three times over the last the last two videos we made of this and Mr. Saku has killed him every time. Dolores has been hanging in there like a champ and not be, she hasn't been crazy once. So I think we need to give the med kit to Dolores. Dolores, here you go. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and feed ourselves day two. Enjoy this day, it's a great day. It's a great day, the bandits, we can't do anything about the god dang bandits, but at least, please be healed, day 30. Okay, Dolores is better, she's better. She's just tired and fatigued. Oh, yeah. Dolores is cured and her wounds are patched up. And Ted might have some nasty scars that may never heal. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, someone knocking at our door. They want ammunition. Well, we don't have any ammunition, so go away. Because you can give them, you can give them the, uh, the, the board, but he just takes it. Oh, now he's sick. Now Ted's sick. Oh, God. Ted's not going to make it. Uh-oh. These injuries. Well, we can't do anything about it because we don't have it. He's like, you plan on helping Ted out? Nope. Ted's just gonna have to hang in there. Day 32. Oh, Ted's getting worse. She's just looking at him like, oh man, you look so freaking rough. Stay away from me. Don't touch me, you sick son of a gun. Uh, there's a map. Siblings are back, but I don't have a map. Sorry, siblings. I know I helped, helped save you. Day 34. Ted's still hanging in there, barely. But it's feeding day, because I fed him one day earlier last time, so let's feed him and water him again. Yep, day 34. Come on, you can make it. Go, Ted, go. Go, Ted, go. Stay in there. You gotta wait till the guys knock on the door. Uh, raiders are still out there. Can't do anything about them because I don't have a gun or an axe. Day 36. Still in there. 
Mr. Sacco's still creeping up his arm. Maybe he's sitting in the vent watching like, <laughs> soon. Ted, these water survive? Dave, I'll go ahead and, I mean, you're not gonna make it much longer anyway, so go ahead and give you some food and water. Uh, we got a visit from a person, physical mutation, managed to grow silver up hands, group of people. Uh, promise that if we give some supplies, they'll get rid of the bandits next time they bother us. Okay, well, what do I have extra? I have extra soup. I'll give you some soup, man, if you go take care of them bandits, because we got a, a bandit problem for real. Hey, 38. Ted's dead! Oh, no! Ted's dead! Oh, God, but Mr. Sokka wouldn't hear this time. <gasps> Maybe it's Dolores, and there's no flesh left on his bones. Maybe Dolores ate him. Maybe the soup is made with Ted. Oh, Ted, no! You died. Oh man, we end up agreeing to our terms. She's quite calm given the situation. Dolores does not care that Ted is dead. Oh God, she's crazy. She is crazy. She's not gonna make it. Oh God, Mr. Sacco's getting to her. Guess what? We got ourselves very own Fallout Garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms going on the walls. They're big enough to eat. How about prepare a mushroom feast tonight? Sure, whatever. Let's eat some mushrooms, Dolores. Let's see how that does you. I don't know, maybe she's okay. Let's see. They were delicious. Our only concern, they're glowing in the dark. Uh-oh. Start day 40 and give her some food and stuff. You know, keep her happy. Keep her content so she doesn't go freaking, you know, buck wild and leave. Nobody's going outside. The bandits are still going out there. The guy with the extra hands isn't taking care of him yet. He needs to, because Dolores doesn't want to get captured by the bandits. Knock at her door. Man came to the doorstep offering us game, uh, profitable games cards. Two cans of soup. Nope. We don't need cans of soup. Day 45. Dolores is still hanging on. Oh, I thought I was going to say the end because it, it took like a second longer. Oh, she looks better, but I think she's still crazy. Yeah, she's still crazy. Tiny shelter or supplies are limited if we want to survive. There's a group of elderly people. Go rob the elderly people. Go rob them. Oh, we got four bottles of water. Great. And then we lost her deck of cards because, oh wait, is, is she, she go crazy and she... We woke up to smell of something burning. We got up in a panic and it turned out the fire was under control, more or less. For the past few days, uh, Dolores has been very busy building a house of cards. It started with a single building, but as soon as she uh, card construction a small town, standing in the corner of the bunker during the night, Dolores set it on fire and calmly observed the flames. When we asked why, she gave us an indifferent stare worthy of a serial killer. She said that some women just want to watch the world burn, but everything seems okay with Dolores. Ah. Uh, I don't know, you know, but you got a lot of water, so just drink up. The bandits, we just can't get rid of those bandits. <laughs> we decided to take a peek out. Uh, we can't because we don't have any items. We had a chance to meet a strange person, look human. Okay, well, I already gave you something. You didn't make sure I was safe last time. We'll have some water this time, since I have so much of it. Maybe you'll make sure I'm safe this time, you jerk. Day 50, she's still hanging in there. Mr. Psycho hasn't gotten to her yet. Give her some supplies, because why not? The bandits, I know, they won't go away. Maybe the the government will come by and run them off one day, but maybe not. Uh, abandoned tank. It looks damaged. All right, go investigate, Dolores. Go investigate the tank. Oh, we got a gas mask. All right. Good job, Dolores. You got a gas mask. Congratulations. I, th I think this is about it right here. Oh, we made it. 53. The bandits. I know they're out there, but I can't do anything about them. Maybe I have to run them off. Maybe they're keeping the, the army from getting to us. Let's go rob somebody. Good luck, Dolores. Go rob him. We got four more water. Just keep drinking that water. Dancing cockroach. Kill it with the Boy Scout handbook. Yeah, give the guys lab coat some water because I got loads of it. Have some water, lab coat guys. Give me some medicine, maybe. I'll drink some water and eat some food, I guess. Just keep Dolores. Dolores, Dolores looks to food to be happy. She just wants to be happy with food. I can't do anything about the Raiders. Stop asking me every day. I can't do anything about it. All I can do is just stuff Dolores full of food and water because there's nothing else for me to do down here. Day 61. God. I just fed you and you're fatigued? Day 62. Man, she is a she is hanging in there. All right, Dolores looking brother down. All right, use the Boy Scout handbook to do whatever you're trying to do. Just to keep you from being completely crazy. Okay, give Dolores a book to read. Seems like a good idea. All right, well, good job. We made her mental health a little better. Uh, Fallout Shelter, can't do anything about it. Mm. That's maybe the last day. The end. Yep, last day. Dolores just ran off. She's gone. She's left Ted behind. Dead Ted. Going to the tight dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially this weird noise coming from it. Uh, dark day for our family. This morning we realized Dolores has left the bunker. Unfortunately, she can no longer contain her insanity. We found a short note which she explained that she's setting out to find her father and that her dream to follow in his footsteps to do something good for people in the wasteland. We have no idea what she meant, but we're going to miss her dearly. Good luck, Dolores. We didn't make it. 
We're, these are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this is obscure writing. Three, 65 days in the shelter. So far, we made it so far. Sako, Sako did this. God dang it. We, why can we never beat this game? It doesn't matter what you, this game's the hardest game ever. We've beaten this game one time, once, and it was on easy. This is on normal. This is the normal difficulty. It's so freaking hard. It just puts you, you like get to a situation and you just can't do anything about it, but wait until you die. Oh my God. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching me die again in 60 seconds. And that's not even the hardest mode. There's a harder mode. And I do not even dare to touch that yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay toasty, my friends. <laughs>